Are you a Wonderlist user who's new to Todoist? Are you a long-time Todoist user who'd like to learn some new power tips? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 power tips and tricks for Todoist for 2020. The High Tech Nomad here, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 power tips and tricks for Todoist for 2020. Be sure to stay to the end of the video where I'll reveal my super tip that is one that I have not seen in any other YouTube video. Starting at number 10, Task Gear. While there's not an official Todoist app for the Samsung family of watches, Task Gear comes pretty close. This app allows you to view your task, postpone them, or even mark them complete. It does allow you to create new tasks using just your watch, but I wouldn't recommend it as it's no easy task, pun intended. Number nine, Momentum Integration. Momentum is a personalized dashboard or home screen. I did a video on all the features of Momentum and I'll put a link to that video up above. Momentum fully supports Todoist. It shows my tasks and allows me to look at them, complete them, or add new ones all without having to open the Todoist website. There's even an option to show your next task right in the middle of your screen. Having my upcoming task right in the middle of my screen, in my face as you will, is really helpful. Number 8. Amazon Echo Integration Did you know that you could set your Amazon Echo so that when you add things to your to-do list, it's automatically added to Todoist? My favorite way of using this feature is when I'm driving in my car. The Rove Viva gives you all of the features of your Amazon Echo, but in a handy little package. I did a video on the Rove Viva, and I'll put a link to it up above. While I'm driving, I can shut up my to-dos one at a time, and when I get to my final destination, they'll all be in Todoist waiting for me. If you've loaded this handy little app on your watch, you can even do so on the go by simply tapping your watch. And yes, I did a video for this app as well, and you'll find a link for that above. Number seven, location reminders. You can have Todoist remind you of a task when you leave or arrive at a location. Before I had this feature, I can't tell you how many times I had things on my to-do list like pick up band-aids. Then when I got to the drugstore, I completely forgot and didn't check my to-do list. Number six, email tasks. You can create new tasks by simply sending an email with the project name, write to Todoist. You can simplify this process even more by adding the email address as a contact. Now I can forward an email as a task by simply entering in the contact name. And Bob's your uncle, I've created a new task. We're at the halfway point, five more to go, plus that bonus app I talked about. I'd like to take this opportunity to say that I hope you're enjoying the video. And if you are, I invite you to click the like button. Number five, quick list. Did you know you could create a list of items by simply typing them out, copying them, and then pasting them into a task? Presto, instant list. Number four, templates. Well, you can easily save a list or project by exporting it as a template. Then when you need it again, simply import it and you're ready to go. Number three, non-destructive items. Many users of Todoist do not know that you can create a non-destructive list. Typically, when you have a project, you have a list of items. As you complete those items, the items disappear from the project list. This can be a problem if you need to go back and see what was the task you just did. By adding an asterisk to the beginning of the project name, it will instruct Todoist to create a non-destructive list. Now, as I complete tasks, they disappear, but this time, when I click on the project name, I can see all of the previous tasks. This is great if you have things that you wanna do over and over again. I can simply uncheck them and the items go back on the list. If you've never seen this feature before, please leave a comment below to let me know. Number two, if this, then that. IFTTT, which stands for if this, then that, is a service that I've covered in other videos, and I'll put a link to that video up above. IFTTT allows you to trigger things to happen based upon other things that have happened. For example, you could set it up 
so that when the water filter on your Samsung refrigerator needs replacing, it'll automatically add it as a task to your to-do list. When I miss a phone call, IFTTT adds a task to remind me to call the person back. Number one, dependent tasks. Doist is a to-do list. Sometimes you want Todoist to act more like a project manager. In this example, I can click and complete any of these tasks in any order. However, we can make Todoist act like a project manager and not allow me to complete a task before another task is done. It takes a few steps to set up, but if you need this functionality, it's well worth the effort. I promised if you stay till the end of the video, I would show you my bonus tip, which I've not seen in any other video. G-Syncit is a fantastic program. G-Syncit allows you to synchronize between any two programs, and it covers Todoist, it covers Gmail, it covers Dropbox, and it covers Outlook. So if you're a person that's trying to synchronize your to-do list with your Outlook, then you need to look at G-Sync It. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you might consider doing so. I'm going to be doing a video on G-Sync It very soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I really appreciate when you guys give me comments because that helps me figure out what video to do next. Until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, signing out.